click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about a numerical based on the activity problem number 1 and here we see we are going to talk about the numerical based on activity problem number 2. So let's see what is the question and what is the data that we have to find out. So friends, the question which has been given here is how many particles are emitted by 0.1 gram of radium having the atomic mass number as 2 to 6 in one year. So the half-life of the radium is given as 1620 years. So let so now let's see how we can find out the activity of this radium. But before solving this, let us extract the data from the above question. So therefore, the radio element that has been mentioned here is radium so that is 226 having an atomic mass number of 226 for which the half-life is been given as here we see I have put it here as t half which has been given as 1620 years as well as the amount of the substance that has been provided to us in this question is that is the weight of substance or weight of radium is given as 0 0.1 gram. So these are the certain data that is what we have extracted from the above question and based on that let us see that how we can calculate the activity and the activity is nothing but a product of decay constant and the number of particles that are being present in 0.1 gram of radium. So let's see how we can calculate this one. So the time interval in which the change should occur in this question it has been given as one year. So therefore we have t is equals to one year. That means the time duration it should be in years. So that means the decay constant it should be in year inverse. So for that we have a formula that is t half is equals to 0 0.693 divided by lambda or else because we have to find out the decay constant lambda so therefore we could write it here as 0 0.693 divided by t half in this case it has been given that is for radium it has been given as 1620 years so let's see what is the answer we could get for the decay constant so here we have got to know about the value of the decay constant is 4.28 into 10 raised to minus 4 year inverse so this is the value for the decay constant that is what we have got and based on that we can find out the next data so now here basically we have to find out the number of particles that are been present in 0.1 gram of radium but for that we have got to know about uh, the atomic mass of the radium which is found to be 226 so therefore we could say that is 226 gram of radium will consist of 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 atoms of radium or 23 10 raised to 23 particles of uh, the radium. So therefore what we have is we have 0 0.1 gram of radium. So how many particles or how many atoms will be present in 0 0.1 gram of radium so that it will be nothing but it will be n. So therefore let's see let us calculate what is the answer we could get we will do a cross multiplication over here and that is 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 multiplied by 0 0.1 and then divided by 2 to 6 so let's see what is the answer we could get here so here the value for the or the number of particles which has been present in 0 0.1 gram of radium it has been found to be 2.665 into 10 raised to 20 atoms so here basically we have got to know about the decay constant lambda and the value of so now let us calculate the activity of this radio element So here we are substituting the values that is for lambda we have that is 4.28 into 10 raised to minus 4 year inverse and the number of atoms that are being present in 0 0.1 gram of radium 
here basically we have got to know that is it is 2.665 into 10 raised to 20 atoms or particles so after calculating we will get a value and the value is 1.141 into 10 raised to 17 particles per year it will disintegrate or that will be the activity so this is how basically we have calculated the activity of a particular radio element and in this case it is radium and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much